I use shooting in the shade a lot because I'm usually photographing people. And shooting in the shade creates a very flattering light source because you're not getting those harsh shadows like you do with uh, direct sunlight. Another great thing if you're shooting in the shade, for instance, if you're shooting in the shade of a building, you can have your subject here and the building here in the background and your subject will be the same exposure. Um, so you can bring the background into the photograph. Shooting in the shade is also great if you're photographing kids because they can be running around all over the place and you don't have to worry about the lighting changing on you. So you can set your exposure and just follow them around and have fun. Shooting in the shade is very similar to photographing on overcast days. Because what happens on overcast days is you have those, all those clouds in the sky and the sun is shining through that, but it's creating that very evenly dispersed light. All right, so now I want to take you on location so you can see shooting in the shade in practice. Shooting in the shade is a great technique to use when you're photographing people. Uh, it's really simple. All you have to do is take your subject and put them in the shade. Also, it's really flattering. It's um, really soft light, really well balanced. Uh, so there's not a lot of harsh shadows on, on your subject's face. Um, just to give you an idea of the settings, uh, first of all, um, I'm making sure that I have my shade white balance setting, which is the house with the little shade coming off the side. Um, and just to give you an idea as far as where I'm starting with my camera settings, I'm shooting at, my aperture is at f2, um, my shutter speed is at 1 1600th of a second, and my ISO is at 320. Alright, so I'm going to take a photo of Danny back here and uh, show you the results.